Hello, my friends, it's Dr. Sharon. Today we're going to be talking about sodium in the diet and we're going to be doing nutrition questions. Y'all, I hate nutrition questions. There are no questions I hate more than nutrition questions. The questions we're going to do are like questions that I've seen many, many times. I'm going to help you figure out how to answer them. So it's going to be short, but it's going to be important. So stay tuned. Hello, Clinic Review family. It's Dr. Sharon with Clinic Reviews, the home of the very best NCLEX review in the entire universe, in my opinion. Go to clinicreviews.com to sign up for the online on-demand NCLEX review by Mark Klimek himself, the absolute goat. Y'all, we do not cover any of the things here on this channel that Mark covers in his NCLEX review. I know you're saying, what in the world else is there? Y'all, there's a lot else. It's phenomenal. It's totally worth the money. I highly recommend it. We all do, also do small group tutoring in monthly packages, and we have a streaming service. So today we're going to be talking about specifically about sodium in the diet. I added a couple other questions just to make it interesting, but um, it's not complicated, y'all. This is not rocket science, but let's go ahead and make sure you know how to answer these questions because I'm like 99.9% .9 sure you're going to get a question like this on the NCLEX. A patient with hypertension is advised, advised to follow a low-sodium, low-fat diet. Which snack is most appropriate? Fresh apple slices, salted peanuts, canned vegetable juice, whole wheat bread with margarine. So you might be going, oh, uh, uh. I know B and C are out, but what about the whole wheat bread with margarine? Okay, y'all, bread and butter, margarine, margarine and butter have the same amount of salt in it. Bread and butter, margarine have more salt than fruit and vegetables, fresh fruit and vegetables. Fresh vegetables have slightly more than fruit. Fruit is probably your option that has the lowest amount of sodium in it out of all of your possible options, Okay. Patient with heart failure is selecting dinner options, which food choice is best. So it doesn't say low, uh, low sodium, but if you have a heart failure patient, what are you looking for? You're looking for low fat and low sodium, right? So make sure you understand that canned soup with crackers, ham and cheese sandwich on whole wheat bread, grilled chicken breast with steamed broccoli, processed deli meats with canned green beans. So we know canned, anything canned or processed is out. So we're going to get rid of A and D. So now we have to choose between a ham and cheese sandwich on whole wheat bread, which seems healthy enough, or grilled chicken breast with steamed broccoli. So ham uh, and cheese particularly, cheese particularly can be higher in sodium, and then bread is higher than vegetables, and then a grilled chicken sandwich is going to be very low in fat. So that's your best option, okay? A patient on a low-sodium diet wants a suitable breakfast. Which option should the nurse recommend? Toast with butter? cereal with milk, bacon and eggs, or fresh fruit salad? So this is the kind of question I always used to get wrong because they're, I mean, C, I can rule out C, that's not a problem, but I'd be like, well, what's wrong with cereal and milk? So the correct answer is fresh fruit salad, toast with butter. The issue is butter has sodium in it. Cereal is okay, although cereal and bread have about the same amount of sodium. I would say it has a moderate amount of sodium in it. So cereals and breads have a moderate amount of sodium in it. And then uh, milk also has a moderate amount of sodium in it. So I would say bacon and eggs, well, bacon is out. That's high sodium. Toast, butter, cereal, and milk all have moderate amounts of sodium in it. So if I had to choose, like if, if, I would say toast and butter is better than bacon and eggs. But remember, fruit has the lowest amount of sodium in it. Which side dish is most appropriate for a patient aiming to reduce sodium intake? Canned peas, fresh steamed carrots, buttered bread roll, or processed deli meats. So we're going to get rid of the processed deli meats. I know that's out. Canned peas I know are out. So is our carrots better or worse than bread? Carrots are better. So fresh carrots, fresh veggies is your second best option. Your first best option for low sodium is fruit. Your second best option for low sodium is vegetables. Vegetables and fruits would both be considered low sodium. It's just that in general, uh, if you have to choose between fruits and veggies, I'd pick fruits as a lower sodium option, although fruits are higher in sugars, right? So it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Veggies are still a great option for low sodium, especially if they're fresh or they're steamed. Which snacks are appropriate for a patient with hypertension aiming to reduce sodium in take. All right. So we're looking for good snacks that are low sodium, fresh apple slices. 
You know, that's a good one. Carrot sticks. You know, that's a good one. Salted peanuts. No unsalted popcorn. That's fine. It's not salted. Um, there's no reason to think it would be high in sodium pretzels. Mm, I mean, most of the time pretzels have so salt on them. It doesn't say salted pretzels, but I would assume salted pretzels because un unless they tell me they're unsalted, because I've never really seen a pretzel that's not salted unless I ask for it not to be salted and then low fat milk. So milk is considered moderate protein y'all or moderate sodium, moderate sodium in milk. So that's not really my first option for them. Right? So I'm interested in fresh apple slices, carrot sticks, and unsalted popcorn. Uh, remember we're not necessarily looking for low fat. I mean, the low fat milk is better than high fat milk, but it's not a low sodium option. An obese patient wants to choose healthier snacks, which options are acceptable. Now I put this in here intentionally because you have to read the question carefully. You have to read the question and answer what's being asked. Previously, because this person was looking for low sodium, we picked the foods low in sodium, but here we have someone who's looking for low calories. And that is a different question. So fresh vegetable sticks with hummus. That's low calorie. Buttered popcorn, that's not low calorie. Low fat yogurt, yes, that's low calorie. Fruit smoothies without added sugar, that is low calorie. Diet soda, all right. We're looking for healthier snacks, y'all. Diet soda is better than not diet soda, but it's very high in sodium. There's absolutely no nutritional value to it. So it is not considered a healthy snack. Do you understand? Healthy means uh, it has some caloric value to it. We just don't want it to be high in sodium. We don't want it to be high in fat. So diet soda is very high in sodium. It's not considered a healthy snack. So we're going to go ahead and pick these as our options for healthy. You can see I underlined healthier. So you could see we're not just looking for low calorie. We're looking for healthy. Okay. And healthy or nutritious, healthy and nutritious often are sort of used interchangeably. Healthy and nutritious means there's some nutritional value to it. We Again, we don't want it to be high fat. We don't want it to be uh, high sodium, but we want it to have some nutritional value to it. A hypertensive patient desires a dessert. Which option is best? All right, so we're looking for low sodium. Fresh strawberries, we know that's low sodium. Caramel ice cream. Well, I told you that milk has so as moderate sodium, and so ice cream, I don't know about the caramel, but ice cream is going to be moderate, moderate sodium. So that's not better than strawberries. Butter cookies. Well, it has butter in it, and butter is moderate to high sodium. So I'm not going to I'm not going to pick that one. Canned fruit. We don't like anything canned. So we're going to go for the fresh fruit. So if you haven't figured out the fresh fruit and fresh veggies, uh, steamed veggies, grilled meats, those kinds of things, those are all great options for low sodium. A nurse is educating a patient with heart failure about dietary restrictions. Which foods should the patient limit or avoid? Well, what does a patient with heart failure want to avoid? Well, we probably want to avoid Lots and lots of fluids. We want to avoid low, we want to avoid sodium. We probably want to avoid fats. Okay. So let's see which foods we want to avoid or limit. Salted crackers. That doesn't look good. I, I'd say limit that. Fresh fruit salad. You don't have to limit the fresh fruit salad. Canned vegetables. You got to limit that. Grilled chicken seasoned with herbs. You shouldn't have to limit that. Prepackaged frozen dinner. So prepackaged frozen dinners often have sodium in it because it's used to help keep it fresh longer. Um, and so let me reread the question again. Which food should the patient limit or avoid? So I'm looking for the ones to avoid. I'm not looking for the healthy ones. I'm looking for the not healthy ones. So I put this on here, not because I didn't think you would know the answer. I put it on here to make sure you read the question carefully. Make sure you read the question carefully. We're looking for foods to avoid. A patient is choosing dinner options, which is best for reducing sodium intake. Canned ravioli. No, I don't like anything canned. Pepperoni meat pizza. Well, you know, there's nothing really wrong with pizza itself, but cheese is high in sodium. And then we have pepperoni, which is a processed meat, which is very high in sodium. So I don't really like that. Grilled fish with lemon and steamed asparagus. That seems, seems pretty good. Remember, Fresh veggies are low sodium, a little higher than fruit, but still low sodium. Toast with margarine. Again, bread is moderate uh, sodium and margarine is moderate to high sodium. So I'm going to go with the grilled fish with lemon and steamed asparagus. A patient with hypertension wants to season their food without increasing sodium. What is the best option? 
use fresh herbs and spices, add margarine, use a salt substitute, or incorporate canned sauces. All right, let me read this again. The patient with hypertension wants to season their food without increasing sodium. What is the best option? So margarine is probably out. That's moderate to high sodium. Canned sauces is out because that's high sodium. So we have to choose between A and C because fresh herbs and spices is fine. A salt substitute is fine. So it says, what is the best option? The best option. Well, if I can do something more naturally, fresh herbs and spices, I'm going to say that's better because salt substitutes are high in potassium. And so I'm not all that crazy about having them increase potassium unless there's no other option. So fresh herbs and spices are really better than a salt substitute if, if that's an option. Now, if fresh herbs and spices was not there, then I would, there's nothing wrong with using a salt substitute. Okay. You can use a salt substitute, but it says best. So I'm going to do the fresh herbs and spices, which food should a patient with hypertension limit to manage their condition? All right. So we're limiting foods with sodium in that limiting pickled vegetables, limit that definitely anything pickled is out. Fresh berries, that's good. Processed cheese, that's limit. We got to limit that. Remember, cheeses are high, especially processed. If it says processed, out. That's high sodium. Unsalted whole grains. All right, so normally I would say bread is moderate, uh, moderate sodium, but it says unsalted whole grains. So I'm going to leave it on my list as okay. Bacon, that's very high sodium. That's out. Whole milk is moderate sodium, so that's out. So we're going to say, what should they limit? Okay, so limiting is the pickled vegetables, processed cheese, bacon, and whole milk. So that is what we're going to limit. Okay, so that's it. <clears throat> that was a short and sweet one, but it is really super important that you know how to answer your high-sodium diet questions. You're going to get them, y'all. It's, it's a fundamental concept that you need to know how to answer, okay? All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day.